Now that you have logged into the system, paid your fees, and set the three mandatory positions, you may now want to add all of your members. So to do this, you would want to do it in bulk. So click on the Members tab on the left, then Add and View Members. As you can see, here are the four members who have already been added. So if I select the Add button and select Bulk Add Members, there are three steps. Now, if you would like more information, you can click here on the link as provided, and this will take you to our help desk for more instructions. So step one is to download the template. So if you click here and download the validated template, this will download an Excel document already in CSV format ready to be edited and uploaded to the system. So now that I open the document in Excel, I can see all of the different fields that need to be added, such as forename, surname, date of birth, address, town, etc. So what I'm doing is I am entering in the forename and surname, which are mandatory, the date of birth, which have to be in day, month and year. So I'll put that in for these two members. I'll then put in the address one for each of the members. So test and test. I will then put in the town. So for handiness I'll just put in Dublin. And there is a drop down here for the county to prevent you from making any certain mistakes. So I'll just select any two counties. Then for country, I'll just select Ireland for both of them. The postcode is optional if you're in the UK. So for player type, there's a drop down. You can either be a player or non-player. Then for the member type, you click on the drop down and pick on the member type that suits the member. We must also put in the mobile number and before that we put in the country code. So 353 if you're in the Republic of Ireland and if you're in the UK, 44. So I'll just put in some dummy numbers here. And that is all of the mandatory fields. As you can see, the email and other information are optional. So what I must do is go to File and Save As. And then I must save it in CSV format, which is comma separated values. I'll then save it in the required place on my laptop and give it a specific name. We then press Save, Save Active Sheet and Continue. So step two is to choose the file. So I'll look on my desktop, pick the file, and I can see that the file is ready to upload with the green tick. This always happens because the file is CSV. Step three is to preview the data, and as you can see, there are no issues. I then select Import, and then OK, and this shows me the two new members that I have added to the system.